Hi guys, how are you? So as you know, today the OnePlus Nord CE4 will be launched in India. Now I am based out of UK and unfortunately I don't know when it will be launched in UK. So I wanted to compare the specifications between the Nothing Phone 2A versus the upcoming OnePlus Nord CE4. So first let's start with the processor. The Nothing Phone 2A has the Dimensity 7200 Pro which is like a decent chip. You can play a bit of game but not at a very high setting. In Nord CE4, they will put in a Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. Now, I think that is a very good processor because from the previous Snapdragon 7 series, I have heard a lot of good things in terms of its processing capability, efficiency, power management. And if the Snapdragon 8 series is anything to go by, then the 7 Gen 3, just one level below the 8 Gen 3. That means it should be very powerful, very much power efficient. So I think Nord's E4 will definitely surpass Nothing Phone 2 in terms of raw performance. Now it depends how well OnePlus is able to optimize Nord's E4. That remains to be seen. But on paper, One, uh, OnePlus Nord's E4 looks to be the better phone in terms of processing power. Next up are the cameras. Now as you can see, Nothing Phone 2 has two cameras. Both are 50 megapixel, main and ultra wide. Now, Nord CE4 here has the 50 megapixel main camera. I am sure the sensor must be different. And it only has an 8 megapixel ultra wide. And from what I know from the previous Nord CE series, the cameras are just okay. Now, Nothing Phone 2A is also nothing great in terms of camera. But I think it should be a better camera system compared to the Nord CE4. But yes. I mean, you can wait for the reviews to drop in where they will be comparing the cameras between Nothing Phone 2A and Nord CE4. So if camera is more important to you, then Nothing Phone 2A will be the better phone. Next up is the battery life and charging speed. Now, this has 5000 milliamp hour and it has quite good battery life. I am easily able to get 6 to 7 hours screen on time easily with a mix of Wi-Fi and 5G. Nord CE4 will have a 5500 milliamp hour battery. And on top of that, it will have 100 watt charging. You know, the OnePlus proprietary charging, super walk charging that they call. This only has 45 watt maximum charging with nothing phone charger, which I have not bought because they did not ship it with the phone. OnePlus CE4 will probably have the charging included in the box. So in terms of battery life, since it has a bigger battery, it has much faster charging. Again, on battery life, the point will go to the OnePlus Nord CE4. Next up is the storage, the RAM. It is similar in terms of the base storage and you know the uh, different storage options that are available on Nothing Phone 2A versus the Nord CE4. So the base version will start from 8 GB RAM, 128 GB of storage and you will also get a 12 GB, 256 GB uh, option on both Nothing Phone 2A as well as Nord CE4. Nord CE4 will have an additional micro SD card slot that is an expandable memory up to one terabyte which actually makes it very lucrative because you can then just get the base version and then put in a uh, micro sd card this does not have micro sd card option so again that one goes to nord c4 now when it comes to display i will not talk much because both should be very good i am not sure whether uh, one one plus nord c4 will be able to exactly match the symmetrical bezels that you see on the Nothing Phone 2A. But let's see, I might be wrong. It might have a much better, uh, you know, bezels. Both will have 120 hertz. I'm not sure whether it's a standard 120 hertz or like they will implement some sort of LTPO display. I don't think so. And both uh, size of the screen will be around the same, 6.7 inches. So these are some of the key differences between these two phones. So in terms of raw performance, battery, OnePlus Nord C4 is the obvious option. But if you are looking for a clean software, clean experience, looking for timely updates, then Nothing Phone 2A is the one to go. Because I, so personal, from a personal experience, I am really liking the software on this. And one, uh, Nothing has already pushed out a couple of updates to address some of the issues. And knowing them, they will continue pushing out timely updates. Because they do not have that many phones to concentrate on. They just launch one phone at a time. And this is the third phone in their portfolio. So nothing phone 1, nothing phone 2 and nothing phone 2. So they can concentrate more on each phone. Whereas OnePlus, you know, they have 
many phones and the 12 series are their flagship phones not c4 are like probably not high in their priority list and also there have been some issues with oneplus displays in the recent past i hope um that is already resolved so yep that's it from my side i just wanted to convey the differences i wish i could have got hold of not c4 to show you the direct comparison how they look like how uh, their differences in terms of processing power cameras etc but unfor- unfortunately i don't think it will be going to be released anytime soon in the uk but if you have any questions about nothing phone 2a then please do ask me i am really liking this phone so i do have the s24 ultra but still i almost always pick up the nothing phone 2a just because how comfortable it is to hold so that's it guys please watch the oneplus event tomorrow and hopefully you will be able to decide which one which phone to get nothing phone 2a or the oneplus nord z4 and please do like and subscribe my video and stay tuned